Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're talking about my main man, Raku, and why I think he's definitely worth putting on the wish list right now if you haven't already, and considering him for one of your next 30 signature item heroes. I'm going to go through what, like him and the similarities I see to Lucretia, which just... Just, just let me explain what I'm talking about there because I was deciding who I'm going to do next on this account and I think it's going to be Raku, so let's get into it. Okay, so I did make a video probably a month ago talking about Raku and the team composition based around Raku, Prince, um, and also Ezio. Raku and Ezio being, being the main key, but for a lot of people, we got Prince Exchange coming up in like 27 days, which is going to be really strong to go with him. Now, the reason I compare Raku to Lucretia is to do with the investment required for this team. Now, obviously, everything here is maxed out because it's Kiasma's account, but I just wanted to demonstrate. Um, because Raku is the only thing you really need to invest in, and you don't really have to stress about furniture. The big investment is going to be his 30 signature item, which is going to make normal attacks, deal additional damage equal to 15% of the target's current health, but cannot exceed 650, 650% of his attack. Uh, the furniture... Uh, if we can get into it. Um, th this is going to be helpful to get to three, but nine almost like not really required. So three is going to be nice on the furniture, but not the end of the world if you don't have it. The 30 signature item is going to be the key part. And the reason I connect him to Lucretia is because Lucretia is basically a one unit team. Now, Raku does require these two extra supports, but the investment you have to put into these guys to get good effect is very little. Um, if you just like go to 10 or 20 signature item on both these guys and that's all you invest in them, they're going to be very decent for you. Obviously, over here, in chapter 39 you need more investment into everything but for most people going into multi-stage fights uh it should be fine and this just gives you a really solid team that requires very little investment like i said raku's the only one you don't even have to invest into ascending these guys because you just take whatever you have copies of and link them and like i said we've got the exchange coming for prince which is very very soon um and ezio you can just use the garrison mercenary to pick him up and away you go. Um, and that's pretty much the key part to this team that actually makes it work. Earlier on, you might not even need um, Ezio, depending, but he is really crucial for those executes because obviously Raku's damage is based on the enemy's current HP, so when they get low, he starts to struggle. But, you know, earlier on, players could just rely on uh, his ult to go ahead and kill them anyway. But this team core, really, really low investment to go ahead and get. And like I said, I'm going to probably build it next. Um, but let's just go ahead here and just demonstrate basically what it's meant to do. The other two are just throwaway units that will probably... Yeah, they died in the first second anyway. Okay, take two, that failed. <laughs> let's, hope, let's, let's hope this one works. But basically, all we need is Prince to go ahead and start stunning. And then we become pretty, pretty powerful after that point. Because they're CC'd, meaning Raku's dealing his big damage to them. And then we can just keep CC'ing them, spreading the damage and then Ezio is there to ex execute. So the, the core of this team is really strong. And like I said, Raku's 30 signature item is like the main investment that you really need to get it functional. And the last two spots, you can really fill in with whatever because those two just died instantly. Like they could be fodder. I just put two dimensionals in for the faction bonus, but you can really do whatever you want in that situation. And as you can see, we just sort of melt them and keep them CC'd. And it doesn't even matter. Now that Gwyneth does get uh, in the way a bit, but you can use different tech options to avoid that. But like I said, those three, with very little investment is the key to making it work and because those two dimensionals you can get to ascend it really easy um it just becomes about putting a bit of decent okay gear on them um and just making them do their thing so like i said over here on the 827 account he is going to be the next signature item that i work on now when we look at this account, um, we can see that I do have my Lucretia 30, Zorath is going to be my next 30, and I was thinking through it, and a logical person would say, do Rowan as your next 30 signature item. But for me, Rowan, I'll take, I've done Rowan signature item on too many things to level, on too many accounts to level 30, so once I get him to Mythic, I will take him straight to 20 because I have the resources, but I'm going to save that next 30 uh, for Raku because that'll give me a really, really strong core. Um, and then past that, if I'm, the, so that'll be my two 
two my two first my first two teams will be a Lucretia cheese um and then a Raku team um and then past that we can obviously go for an irons comp which is going to start getting expensive on this because then i'd have to start doing ezier and irons but eventually it's something i will do so you know we'll deal with those resources as we have to but the basic two that i'll have is going to be Raku and lucretia then as we move past that, and like I said, I might not even need Ezio for the early stages. We'll see how we go. As I move past that, um, then I'm going to have my Zolrath built. And then I can do like a Gwyneth to like 25 signature items. So it only takes like 100 of the red chests. Uh, and then I can build like a budget burst comp using uh, using Gwyneth, Iron. Zolrath, Laika, and whoever else. So that gives me three solid comps that I'm looking at building um, with very little investment. Now, the burst comp's going to take the most investment, but really, I can get my uh, Iron to 20 signature, I'm not too bad. Gwyneth can get to 25, not too bad. So it's really like that well forecasted teams that I want to build. And like a. These are teams, the thing, the reason I'm doing these teams, yes, there are probably more optimal teams that you could build, um, but keep in mind, I'm trying to build different teams on this account that I haven't just built before. So, you know, the burst comp with Zolrath, obviously Lucretia Cheese. I did do that on my free-to-play account, but hey, Lucretia's awesome. Um, and then we're looking at doing the Raku comp. So... I think it's going to be a solid, a solid uh, direction for me to take the account. Um, that makes three signature... Uh, Three and a half when you include Gwyneth's signature items to get three teams pretty much assorted. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go a bit off topic. We're going to pop our select summon. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of a push and see if we can get the other select summon going. Um, for this one, I'm not actually going to collect Raku. Now, we do have another chest coming that we can get Raku from. However, you might want to save it for Flora. For me personally, because I know I'm a little bit away from actually doing it, um, I've taken Soros off of my wish list in place of Raku. So now Raku's there. I've got two copies i need six more but because i've still got to work on my uh zolrath signature item i need four more levels um that's why i'm not going to stress about doing select summons for raku at the moment uh what i'm going to do now is go ahead and um, if i had to, if i had the iron copies um if i was only one iron away i'd probably do him because i'm struggling really hard at the moment um with being power capped on this stage because like this is the team i want to use but I'm power capped. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go in here uh, and I'm going to summon for a Rowan copy. Even though we are getting that chest, like I said, that chest, I can always take another Rowan copy because I'll still need four more. Um, and then I can also pick up a Raku or do the Flora, which is like sort of the long-term play, which I'll probably end up doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this. If not, we'll do a tiny little push and see if we can get a bit further rip the dream i do need all that wilder food as well because i also want to get my um Lyca up and that's the other reason i'm not going ham on select summons for raku yet because Lyca is another one that i want to get mythic because once again we're struggling here with power and Lyca is always in my team so if i can get her up then we will be able to push a bit harder but for now just to get these diamonds because what do we need we need we can do dailies so i need yeah we can do this we can do this we got these guys Let's jump into the tower. I could do the labyrinth, but hey, you know, it takes too long. Let's jump into the tower. See if we, see if we can, oh, we cannot crush this tower. This is a bad tower. <laughs> this is a really bad tower. Okay. Okay. Let's go with yada, yada, yada. What if we go with pyramid? Th this one's really annoying because it's got a front row. Um, it's got a front row Verk, which absolutely destroys my face. So if we let her go have free reign, we can put you there behind you. And then we put you there. Let's see if this works. Because that way we go ahead and kill the other two first. But the problem is we've got to run through the poisons to do it. But we get through those poisons. Verk's, Verk's going ham and so is the, uh, the Savius as well. But... Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so we finally got it. We ended up having to do the portal party uh, in there. We put the Lucretia, uh, not the Lucretia, we put the uh, Cecilia in there to eat Verk's poison, but we ended up portaling him away anyway. So we didn't need the Cecilia, but I did a lot of retries with other heroes and Cecilia just worked the best. So we eventually got there. It took a lot of retries, but we made it. So now we're up to 3.30. So this one we are going to... Hmm. This is an awkward one too. So do we go back to Iran with this? The problem with this is we got we got the two knockbacks here, which is really frustrating. 
And I don't know. Let's see if this works with Nara. I don't know if we're going to get the pyramid. Oh, Jesus. Did you see? Did you see my... See, that's what I wasn't sure. I don't, I don't think Lucretia's going to be able to front row this one. She gets spanked. Damn, check that. Okay, let's put a Rowan in there. Get some pots happening. Okay, I just don't think that... I, I, I think we're going to have to portal party this one as well. So we'll leave you in. We'll drop you and you. And we'll put... You and you in. Let's see if this goes. Please pull the Estrada. Yeah, good. Okay, okay. It, it, the problem is that this this team is nuts. All I wanted to do was get my one more summon for my select, but I don't think we're going to get it. Because it's also got the Hendrick. Oh, so close. So close. I think we will get it. I think we will. Maybe I'll put her back on I so she can deal more damage because it's not the early survival that's the issue. It's the damage where we want to kill them. I feel like if we had more damage, we'd be fine. So let's do this. Let's swap Lucretia. Swap her up. Put I back on. Let's see if this works. I have a feeling this is going to be the key to watching us die. <laughs> to watching us die. My God. This is a nightmare. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I had to put Lucretia back on Grace and just spam retries because it just wasn't happening. Like, it, it, the, the Jura's Eye just made her die instantly. This one, we finally managed to get survive that Belinda's Bomb. It took a lot, a lot of retries. But hey, we got there. So now, let's see how many diamonds we actually have. Because this has been this is a tough grind. Damn, we are so far away from it. We are so far away. Do we have any? Ooh. Ooh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're 50 diamonds away. But we do. Before we try and get the 50 diamonds... We do now have a stone to pop. So let's pop this. Good. Ira, honestly good because I need, I need that wilder food. So that puts me at three elite pluses. I do have an Ira elite plus there, plus the Arden and the Ogi. And then we've got an Ira. So damn, damn. If that, if that was any other of what, like I've got one of each stupid smart ascension that has boned me there. <laughs> it's boned me, but... Uh, obviously I'm going to have to get three Ira copies and then we are good to go to get Lyca to Mythic, which is going to be huge. So I'm pumped for that because that'll help me with my power deficits here and hopefully help me clear this chapter because I'm sick of swapping gear every time. But anyway, we need, we need just a few diamonds. Let's see if we can clear one stage here. If not, I'll go in and I'll do the first floor of whatchamacallit, Labyrinth and then we'll be back. So let's, let's do this. Hopefully we port that Astrilda. We did not, which sucks. Let's just swap it up a little bit. I feel like we can get this one pretty easy and then just pop our next summon, see if we get the Rowan and then we can move on. Damn, back in a sec. Okay, we had to go back to five pool for that one. Uh, not five pool, just Iron Nara pool, four pool. Works well. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much what we had to do. We got it. That was a pain. Now we have the diamonds. Now we can do one more select pool. And away we go. 3,000. Nice. Hopefully we get the Rowan here because I wanted to stargaze more. So please give me this Rowan, please. Please. Yes. Nice. That gets Rowan to Legendary Plus. I can get him to Mythic. Unlocks the signature item. That's good times for this account. But moral of the story from the starting message of this video, Raku. He's the next one on my list after Zolrath. I just think it's a wise decision. And uh, yeah, have a think about it. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. And I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.